is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and we're already having some fun here on the set of FYI. I've got Joe Finley back with us from North Grenville. Thanks for joining us again, Joe. Yeah. Uh, who have you got with you today? You've got a special oh, guest. Oh, Alan, my sister, Alan Kelly. This is your sister? Alice, Alan. Alice Kelly, and Alice is visiting. Alice, Alice where are you living now? Uh, I live in Sarnia. You live in Sarnia, and you're just down yes. for a couple of weeks for a visit? Yes, I just come to try. I try to visit Joanne, Joanne, my sister, every summer. Every summer. And Christmas sometimes, but I don't know. Last Christmas was pretty cold here. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, it's more often than just summer. I've, 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 no, I've known Jo for a long time, and she's always talking about Alice is coming. So. <laughs> yes, yes. I try to come as often as I can. It's a good drive. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and Joe has been joining us here on FYI doing some cooking, and today he, uh, she, you're going to be her sous chef. I love the hats. It's helping, helping. All right, what are we cooking today, Joe? Meatballs. Meatballs. All right. Yeah. You got a recipe there? Yeah, I got my recipe here. All right. Right here. All right. Okay. So we're going to make uh, meatballs in a crock pot. We love our crock pots, don't we, Joanne? Easy, slow cooker meatballs. Yes. All right. So what do you got there? Some ground beef? Ground beef. Ground beef in the bowl. Yeah. Yeah. We got to mix it all up. And we have to add uh, one and a quarter cups of Italian seasoning breadcrumbs. So we have our breadcrumbs here, Joe. Yeah. Do a measuring cup? Oh, maybe a cup only. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll do it. Okay. I'm just helping. You do the real work. Um, <laughs> it's going to be one and a quarter cups of bread crumbs. So here's a one. Here's a one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I've known Joanne for, for over 30 years, Alice, and uh, I, I know your mom quite well. I knew your mom quite well. And, uh, you know, we can talk a little bit about history. Your mom was so instrumental in, you know, getting Maplewood School started and, you know, a place for, for people uh, to be able to go to school. And uh, Joanne went to school there. Betty Carson went to school there. Who else? Stephen Carson. We have a whole bunch of people we know. And Brendan O'Reilly can go there too. Brendan O'Reilly. Brandon O'Reilly. He lived up the street from you in Oxford Station. That's right. And then yep. we moved on. And your mom was instrumental in getting Arc Industries going, a workshop going, homes going in, in the area. And uh, she yep. sat on our board too. My mother was uh, a pretty fantastic lady for her time. She, uh, she uh, was a school teacher for many, many years. So she, she taught until she had her first child, Gerald, and then her youngest, which is me. I'm the youngest, by the way, everyone should know that. So, <laughs> and then she taught until I went back to school and then she taught me. And then she taught until I finished college from my kindergarten to my end of college. And then she retired. I, so she quit. She quit for 18 years to have seven children. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! And you're the youngest. Where does Joe fit in this? Where does Joanne fit in this? Second youngest. She's the next to me. So her and I grew up very, very close together. Very okay. close together. Oh. Very close. Joanne's two years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> now you were raised in, in Oxford Station on a farm, and uh, I know Joanne loves to cook too. And I mean, she yeah. she likes these meals, you know, meat and potatoes, and and you know, a real. A good meal too so I'm, I'm sure that's the way you got you, you were brought up uh, my dad was a dairy farmer and uh, he ate potatoes with his meal three times a day so there you go two times and he a day. Was a, yeah he wasn't a heavy man he was a very fit man he was a farmer but that's just the way we cooked fried okay. eggs for breakfast and uh, yep yeah, eggs for, or fried potatoes 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 and meat Meat potatoes family. That's right. That's right. Well, farmers are hard working, hard working people. They need to keep up. Oh, you're not kidding. Up. Yeah, they worked every day, all the time. I remember, um, I remember from my brother's wedding, <clears throat> having a hard time to go to Kingston. I was a little kid when my old, well, my brother's married fifty some years. So, um, I remember uh, them taking the taking the afternoon off to go to the wedding, and they they skipped the reception. They had to come back and milk cows. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you did. Especially a dairy farm. You had to be. You had yes. to be there first thing in the morning, and you had to yes. be there around six o'clock. Usually, it was when you had to be back to, to do the milking again, twice a day. Things have changed. Back in the day, uh, nobody else milked your cows. You're the only one that knew how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. It was the old-fashioned way. Yes, none of this electronics oh, or anything. I was looking for the garlic. Yeah, the garlic's, garlic's in, in the, the onion. Okay. 
So after we did the breadcrumbs, we got a medium chopped onion. So it was up to me. I put the onions in the sauce, but if you want to put them in the meatballs, that's the recipe. Yeah. But I'm very good at changing recipes. So and then a cup of, so that's that. There's your onion and your garlic. Onion and garlic. And the, what's next? The egg. One egg. One egg. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Joe, oh, Joe's be busy today cooking. She's making meatballs for us here on FYI this morning. And this afternoon, what are you doing this afternoon, Joe? Um, to take broccoli. Beef, beef and broccoli. Beef, beef broccoli. You're making beef and broccoli. Caitlin. That's right, with yeah. Caitlin. Yeah, so you're going to head over to the building, uh, our, our community living building, and you're going to be doing another Zoom presentation, and you're going to be cooking for the group there. Group over there. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be a lot of dinners for a lot of people tonight, Joe. Right. We're going to be really, really full. <laughs> come on over, come on over. Had dinner with me. Yeah, everybody, you know. Okay, so I think, uh, you, I think, I think we got everything in there. So you, you're, you did you wash your hands real good? Yep. Okay. I my hands that's really, really important, but I mean, we're going to eat it, so it's not like. Yeah. Well, you never know who's going to eat it. Right? Because uh, we got so no, much no. food. We might invite the whole building. Okay, so. <laughs> You're going to so have that food. <laughs> mix well, and then, so you mix that up well, and I'll get the crock pot ready. Because in the crock pot, you're going to put uh, a can of spaghetti sauce. Yeah. And one can of crushed tomatoes, which we have. And um, tomato paste. So those three go in there. In, in the, sorry, Joe, I've got my yeah. right in front of your beautiful Hey, uh -huh. I like my hat. Yeah. You have to tell Paul you wore his hat. He like that. So, um, yeah, we have to uh, mention Paul's Bistro at Oxford Station because they lent me the hat. <laughs> I love those. I love those. Yes. Wasn't it nice of her? Yeah. So, so we're just going to put uh, the sauce, is because it says to put the ground beef, make the meatballs, and then put the sauces right into the crock pot, and then we'll put the meatballs in after once we make them. Oh, we forgot to put the parsley in. Oh, yeah, put the parsley Hold on, I wasn't doing a very good job, was I, Joe? Not yeah. a very good sushi, have I? Okay. I've never done this before. This Let's get this. <laughs> yes. Follow a recipe? <laughs> you haven't read, follow, I, I'm not a very good recipe follower. I like to make my own thing and add my own stuff. Me and, too. Yeah. Me too. And I'm famous at changing recipes. Okay, so I'll just put that over there. And uh, you can stir that up, Joe. We don't need that anymore. Don't we don't need, need that this anymore. anymore. We don't need this anymore. So maybe, um, uh, oh, we're just going to, oh, yeah, I'm going to put the sauce in here. And then you are just going to roll up the meatballs and just put them right into the sauce. Yeah. Okay. I'll start opening the cans if that's okay yep. with you. You can get in there with your hands if you're clean because we're going to have to get in there with your hands and make sure it's all mixed up. Yeah. yeah. Really, really good. Super. It looks yummy, Joe. Nice and easy. Oh, nice and easy. And if anything, I know about Joanne too. She freezes so she makes a lot of food and then she freezes it. So it's yes. like, what'd you have for supper tonight? She pulled something out of the freezer, you know? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, my mother did the same freezing and canning. Yep. And uh, uh, we never wasted any food whatsoever, ever. No, I can, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. We no, never, we never no. did back then. We never wasted any food. Never wasted a drop of food, no, which is good. Now I saw <laughs> I saw on your Facebook you you two were together on Sunday making I think it was like a, a, a chocolate cheesecake, an Oreo chocolate cheesecake. Yeah, Joanne was pounding Oreos in a bag for about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> While we were watching Netflix, I, I got her all set up in the living room to do it. So it wasn't like it was a horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping on some beverages, and so we were having uh, having some fun. But uh, yes, we did we did make uh, chocolate cheesecake. Wow, is it ever chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate. yeah. Now I know I, I know Joanne likes to to cook more than bake. What about you, Alice? Are you more of a baker, or do you like to cook? Definitely cooking. Yeah. Uh, I, I used to like to bake, but I started eating it all, and yeah. I thought that's not. <laughs> That's not good for me. So I, if I don't bake it, I won't eat it, right? Oh, there you go. That's yeah. how I. That's how I stay so thin by not baking. <laughs> oh well, you must be a good cook if you like to eat, if you eat your own cooking. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a spatula, Joe. Oh, I have one in there. Okay, I'll find it. Yeah, there okay. it is. I got it. So I just don't like to. I just don't like to waste. There's still lots in the can. Are you getting ready to make balls yet? Got it done real good. Yeah. Okay. So it all has to be. 
it has to be squished together. Yeah. You can squish it right between your fingers because you don't want any dry spots. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the balls need to stick together. And one thing I'd like to say about meatballs is I never roll them super de duper tight. I always roll them loose. As I don't know if you've ever had a meatball, you couldn't even cut. <laughs> yes, yes. Meatball, that's because someone's rolled it super duper tight. So I just like to do them loose and then they taste much better. Absolutely. And then they get cooked more thoroughly too. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Yeah, totally now, now, we've mentioned here before too that jo Joanne works at the Brigadoon restaurant and you just mentioned uh, Paul's Bistro. I, I believe both of those places have those big chairs too. Yes. Yes, they're beautiful. One at the Brigadoon and one at Paul's. Yes. So those yeah. are great tourist attractions if anybody's out in the North Grenville area too. Uh, the Brigadoon restaurant, it's got one, it's one of those big chairs. A lot of people like to come and get their pictures taken on it. So I It's the oversized wooden, the oversized wooden Adirondack chair. That's and, it. And uh, they are, they are famous. People come from all over to see, I think there's five or six in the area. Yes. Yes, there is. Yeah. Yes. There's, yeah. Two of them right out there. Yes. Right out front. You know, you can just come and sit in a chair and get a picture or you can go in the restaurant, eat whatever you prefer. Right outside the, the premises. Yeah. So it says uh, cook cook on low. See, it says six to eight hours. That's why it's so forgiving. So you can just, uh, you know, put it on low. Yeah, put it on low. And you know what? There's so much sauce in here. Those are going to be the best damn meatballs in the whole world. Come over. Come over. They're going to be, gonna be so, so <laughs> There you go. Come over. Yeah. Yeah. So are you going to? Are you going to put it over spaghetti, or is that the idea? Idea, spaghetti. You don't have an idea yet. Yeah. Okay. Where's spaghetti's gone? I like bow ties. Come on over here. <laughs> Just yes, me. There you go. There you go. Well, you save me a bowl. You save me a bowl. I'll have some. I always Are you get coming to. Over to I, I, I'm not coming into Kemple today, but uh, tomorrow, you save me a dish. I'll come over and have some. Well, we'll see if there's any leftovers from the two people. Okay. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll call you. <laughs> all right, all right. If there is, I'll come over. Thank you. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to come on. Do you think there'll be any leftovers for Kathy tomorrow? Maybe Kim can come too, eh? Yeah, Kim come too. Yeah. Do you have any other friends or no? No, no friends. <laughs> oh, no. oh my goodness, you have friends. lots of friends. You got more <laughs> friends than I ever had in my whole life. life. Huh? I'm yeah. Like to come. And we, I'll tell everybody to come. We got to mention that Kim Kirby's there helping you guys out again today. She's she's our producer on location. Kim you Kirby. Say hi. <laughs> she doesn't. She's shy. She doesn't want to come say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to be on TV? She's watching me. She's making me kind of nervous, but I'm doing okay, right? <laughs> ah, it looks good. Okay? It's gonna look good. It's gonna Perfect. taste even better. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know how to get you to see inside the bowl, but I can pull out a meatball and you see how yummy oh, it Oh, there you go. That looks awesome. Yeah, there's lots of sauce. Lots of sauce. This is, this is just fabulous. So we're almost done. We're just going to, we only have one or two left. Easy to do. And I'm making sure that they're down in the sauce, all nicely covered. And then we'll just stick the lid on and we're done, Joe. Done. Excellent. Other Excellent. than the onions in it, it'll, it'll taste great. Yeah. <laughs> That's just yeah. personal preference. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big onion fan. You got to cook them up real good for me if you're. If I'm going to eat, I love cooked onions, burnt onions, but not that not raw. No, but it'll no. cook pretty good in there. I think. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Yeah. Well, that this is yeah, going to look wonderful. I thank you so much, Alice, for joining us today, and Joanne for doing this again with us on FYI. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Last yeah, yeah. one for the summer. We'll see you in the fall. See you in the fall. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to take a little break here on FYI and we'll be back in uh, probably another month or so. But uh, I think, Joanne, you're going to be a regular here. So we'll have to think of another recipe. Another recipe. Yeah. I hope you invite me back, Joe. But, well, she won't come back. Okay, we'll have her back. Okay. We'll have her back. Uh, well, we will, for sure. Thank you very much for joining us again. Joanne Finley, one of our regulars here on FYI on your TV. And Alice Kelly, all the way from Sarnia here on uh, a holiday, but having to get up early <laughs> to join us today. Thank you. I'm glad I did. Thank you.